welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to do today, I think this is going to be so cute. Um, I want to make a tote bag that is just for Maggie. Like whenever she goes to visit mom when all this quarantine is over, then I can just put her toys in it, her little blanket, anything that is her leash, anything that's specific to Maggie, I can put it in there and take it. And I'm going to be using... Um, Printable heat transfer uh, from Silhouette for dark colored fabrics. And then I'm going to be using some Cricut infusible ink. So I'm going to combine those and I'm also going to show you how to take a photo that you take and turn it into a PNG image on your computer. So I already have design space loaded here on my uh, computer. So we're going to new project, the circle with the plus. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to replace my uh, other project I was working on. Okay, so now what I want to do, I want first to show you how to get that picture so that you can upload it. So I'm going to minimize design space. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, and I can't make this any bigger, but I'm going to go to Finder, and I'm going to look for my um, recent, my downloads, and this is the one I want, so I'm going to click on it, going to go up to the file. Now, I have a Mac, um, and it's, it's something similar if you have Windows, but I'm going to click on File, and then I'm going to go to Open With, and I'm going to click on Preview, okay? Then we're going to go to File, okay? We're going down to Export, and you want to export it at right here where it says Format. You want to put it as a PNG right here and hit Save. Now that will allow you to upload this into design space, okay? So I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to X out of that, and then I'm going to make this large again. Okay, now we're just going to go to upload right here at the bottom. On the left side, we're gonna click on upload, and here I uploaded one image, but her left eye was too dark, so I couldn't do that. So here you can either upload images, or to the right you can upload patterns that you find online. Okay, so I'm going where it says image, upload image, click on that. You can either drop and drag, or you can browse. I'm going to browse, and um, this is the one I want, number two. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit open. Now, that's a large, large image, okay? So I'm going to save it as complex and then hit continue right bottom corner. Now you can see just how big this is, okay? So I'm going to crop. I want to crop. Okay, let me get what I want. <laughs> that adorable little face. Okay. And I want to crop from here. I hope I can take it down a little more. Because I have to get. And I've got to go wider for her ears. Okay, that's what I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eraser tool in the left hand corner. And I'm going to set it big. And I'm just going to erase all this up here that I don't want because I just want her little face and you don't have to be really particular here um, you can take your time if you want I'm going to try to get it pretty pretty well and you can always make this smaller um, you can also use the magic wand to get rid of things but I found it also gets rid of some of her fur and I don't want to do that, okay? So let me get a lot of this with the big one. Then I'm going to go over here and slide this smaller so I can get right around this ear. OK, 
okay then I'm going to come right over here I'm going to make this a little smaller I'm going to clean this up just a little bit and if you click it'll take it away too like I said it's not perfect but this would be hard to get this exactly perfect I think okay now we're going to scroll up I've got to get this right here And then we're going to come right down through here basically I'm just tracing around and I'm going to go in here get close right in here as I can and then I can just take this and make my eraser bigger and clean this the rest of this up much quicker and you can even make it bigger but I don't want to have it too big and lose control and there's that precious face okay let's see I think I'm going to make it a little smaller and get right up here a lot better okay now we're going to go continue right bottom corner there's our little image now I'm going to type in Maggie comma face and just hit save we'll save it as a print then cut Okay, now we're just going to click Uploaded. It. It'll put the green box around it and put Insert Image. And it's going to put this very large image in there, and that's just too big, okay? So I think I'm going to make her picture, because my tote bag is a 14 by 14, I think I'm going to make the picture. I'm going to go, you can either unlock it here and move it accordingly to however you want it, but I'm going to lock it back here and I'm going to go up to the top and unlock that out from size backspace and I want her picture I think to be 4.756 wide by um, 5.611 tall and lock it back okay and I think that will give us a nice size. I'm going to scoot that over there. You can see in the layers column, it's a cut then print. Then I'm going to go to text over here on the left. And I'm going to type in um, Maggie's. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, I don't want that print. Okay, so for the font, you go up here from font and there's a downward triangle. Click on that. And I'm going to use, um, I think it's Linotype Aprocom Semi Bold because I think that will be really cute for this. And I'm going to type in Maggie's. Okay, and I want to curve it. Let me make this bigger so you can see. Um, right out here, while you're typing your text, curve becomes an option. And here's alignment, here's curve, and here's advanced. Well, if you click on curve, you can slide this and fix it however you want. So let's try maybe like that. And naturally, it'll have to be smaller than that. But let me then go back to text again. And it's still on that same font. And I'm going to put Paul's. P-A-W-Z hyphen E-S-S-I-O-N-S -S -S for possessions. <laughs> I think it's funny. Okay, I'm going back to curve. 
but this time I want it curved the other way. So if you take it backwards, it's going to curve it that way, okay? So let me make this bigger so you can see. Um, let's just stick her face in there and see. I think that's going to be so cute. Um, All right, let's see, how big is that? How many, let me look. Okay, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. I'm going to move this down just a little bit because I don't want to have it too... too big. Let's see. So let's draw a line across this and let's group them. And I just want to see about how tall they are. About 10. We'll take that down a little bit more and see. See what this is now. 9 by 9. I think that will work. work. Now let me put her picture back in the middle because I want to make sure. <laughs> I think that's cute. Okay. So I'm going to draw another line around all that. I've grouped it. Now I'm going to weld it down here in the bottom of the layers column. I'm going to hit weld. Okay. So the words are a cut and then Maggie's face is a print cut then print and that's what I want. Now I have my Cricut Explore Air 2 set on custom. I'm going to go to make it right top corner. It's going to separate it into two mats. First it's going to cut her precious little face out and then for mat two it's going to be the words. Now I need to mirror the words but not her face. Okay then I'm going to continue right bottom corner my computer is connecting to my Cricut. I'm going to click send to the printer. I'm going to leave my bleed on and you can change how many copies you want. I only want one. I'm going to print that on my printable heat transfer paper for dark colored fabrics. It's Silhouette brand and I use it even if I use light colored. Okay, so it's printing off. Then I'm going to browse all materials and I'm going to type in printable and here it is printable iron on dark it puts a check mark by it and I'm going to hit done okay I'm going to leave my pressure normal okay and then we will cut this out but here's her little picture that I printed out I think it's adorable now, I should have gone to preview to make sure I had it cleaned up nicely. You can see here's a spot and there's a spot and then down here. But I love it. I'm going to leave it because I don't want to keep using my ink. I'm afraid I'll run out and I printed it. I put it in my computer at this way, my printer this way, so that it would print on this flat side. Okay, now I'm just going to put this right on here. <laughs> and I could embellish it with little um, something if I wanted to. We're going to insert it with the blinking arrow, and then it's going to cut Maggie out. So we're just going to start cutting with the blinking C, and then we'll work on our words. It's reading the registration mark right now. But you could even do this. Um, you could just put this on your computer um, and turn it into a PNG and then print it out and then just take scissors and cut it out and you could use the Avery sticker sheets and still make something like this for your dog or your child or anything like that. But um, I think it's really cute. And then it's just going to peel out like a little sticker. Okay, it's through. I'm going to eject it by the arrow. And then all you have to do, and I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not ready to put it on there, is you'll just peel this off like a sticker. And it's not, I don't think these little areas are going to bother because it's printed, cut them separately. So I think I'm in really good shape. Now we're going to the second one. And I need to open this up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to print the words out, okay? So, we want to browse all materials because I'm on the second one, okay? So, I want to browse all materials, and, and I, I want to 
type in infusible this is on okay and now we'll cut okay this is the infusible ink it's a tote bag it's the 14 by 14 it's Cricut and this is the silhouette printable heat transfer for dark colored fabrics that's what I always use I think you get a better cut this is how small the toad is. It's a really small one, and that's what I wanted. You wouldn't have to use uh, Cricut. You could get a Dollar Tree toad or any tote that you have on hand. I know we're not going out now. And this is going to be my infusible ink. It just reminded me of her. Just so happy. Okay, I'm just going to put this right on here. Like this. really not supposed to touch this a lot make sure you don't have any lotion oils and your hands are dry but I found if you if you don't have anything it's not all that bad and we're going to in load it by hitting the blinking arrow and you want to load it with the ink side facing up and you do want to mirror that image and it'll even tell you on the screen okay it's through cutting I'm going to eject it with the blinking arrow well first I'm going to crack it you just kind of um, roll it up and you should hear it cracking but I'm not hearing it crack as much as normal it just gets so hot down here and like I said I've had this for quite a while just take your time and crack it you just want to get this started sometimes that's the hardest thing is to get this started okay and you can use vinyl for this. You do not have to use the infusible ink. But I'm going to be washing this a ton. Just keep pulling this. Go ahead and leave the rest of this off. Sometimes it helps just to kind of bend the paper. It's a lot easier just to get it out like that. This is what we have. So let's go meet me in the kitchen and we will put this on this cute. Okay, table. I have my little um, iPad here and I have my um, Easy Press 2 right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to select Infusible Ink Transfer Sheet. And then my base material is a tote bag. And I'm going to hit apply and it will tell me um, to put it at 385. So I need to adjust my temperature to 385. And then the time for 40 seconds. Okay, and it will beep when it's hot enough. And it tells you how to stack it. You to preheat this, then place the mat inside your tote bag. So I'm going to put this mat inside my tote bag because it told me all the supplies that I needed. So here's my mat inside my tote bag. Okay, and then, then put cardstock on top of the mat inside the bag to prevent bleed through. 
So I have two sheets of plain cardstock, and you can reuse your cardstock as long as it um, doesn't have anything on it. Then we're going to cover the tote bag with the butcher paper, preheat for 15 seconds, and remove the butcher paper from the top, and then we will continue. So let me get my lint roll. Okay, I'm just gonna roll this with my, um, my husband has Maggie looking at me through the window. <laughs> he has her outside, oh my gosh. Okay, I've rolled this with my lint roller, okay? Then I'm going to cover this with some butcher paper. And it has to be larger than the plate, okay? And it is. And we're gonna preheat the tote bag for 15 seconds. I'm gonna scoot this over. And I'm gonna hit the blinking C and just let it count down a little bit. <laughs> She looks so cute looking at me through the window. If you could see this, you would die. Oh my gosh. I cannot keep my train of thought these days. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and pick this up. That's heated enough. Then I'm going to take the butcher paper off. Now I've decided to put the infusible ink on first. Okay, now what you want to do is place the design face down with this liner side up. The ink goes straight down. This shiny side goes up. And get it where you think you want it. <laughs> okay, we have that on there. Um, cover it with clean butcher paper. So I'm going to put some more butcher paper down on top. Okay, okay. Now. Then we're going to cover this with this. And I don't know if this is going to, I don't think it's going to completely cover. So we'll do part of it. Okay, and I'm going to just hold light pressure and then let this heat and then I'm going to move to my next section because I don't, it might, it's not covering at all. So before I take my parchment paper off, I'm going to lift it, because you don't want to rub, and I'm going to put it on another section to make sure that I'm getting everything. Okay, I'm just gonna pick it up, set it back down, do it again. And you need to have it on a hard surface when you're doing this so there isn't a give. Uh, if it has a give, it may mess it up, okay? So I'll put in the description box the sizes that I printed mine out. So as soon as I get this on, finished heating, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just going to lift this up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is slowly remove this while it's still warm. And it looks like we had a good transfer. You can use your tweezers to get this up, but I'm just gonna use that. Okay, I think this is cute. Now we're just going to apply her little face on here, and then we'll take a look at that. As far as this goes, this just peels like a little sticker. You just have to be really careful, because you've got those cute little ears. This really isn't a hard DIY, it's just takes some time. And since my husband was watching her, I happen to have time. <laughs> and here's her little face. Okay, then we're just going to put this where we think we want it. So precious. And now I'll know exactly what is hers. Okay, you can use an iron if you want to put this um, printable heat transfer that silhouette for dark colored fabrics down, but I'm just going to use my EUZ press. I have it set on like 340, and I have this uh, little parchment paper or butcher paper that came with it, and I'm gonna push it straight down, and I'm gonna keep it on there for like 40 seconds. 
and you don't want to move it. You want to hold it steady, probably more like 30. So I'm going to pull this up in just a minute. Okay, and we will take a look at this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I'll let you see. Okay, guys, here it is. It's Maggie's Possessions. I think it's, it's hilarious. And like I said, I showed you how to take that picture and turn it in to a PNG on your computer if you don't know how to do that. You could, like I said, print it out on uh, Avery sticker labels, the picture, and just put it on there. And you could just get your animal's face on there if you don't have a cricket. I think this is so cute. Let's go see what Maggie. Here, what do you think? What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, that's Maggie. You want to put some toys in there? Do you want to put some toys in there? Let's put some toys in there, Maggie. Well, she obviously loves it. Look at the waggy little tail. She loves it. <laughs> so, so, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.